Welcome back. Today I have five minutes or less to talk to you about Desire to Learn or D2L. Here you can see I'm already signed in and again if you don't know how I got here please refer back to the My U Portal video. This first page is called your D2L homepage. It's not to be confused with your course homepage which will come up here shortly. First thing you need to do is look under your My Courses section and see if all your courses are listed. If not, click on the View All Courses link at the bottom of the page. Then click on the Filter option in the upper right and filter to the current term. Any courses not pinned on your home page will show here. If there are any classes here, click the three dots in the upper right hand corner and pin it. Clicking on the X in the top right corner will return you to your D2L home page. Now let's click into a course. Here you will enter that course's home page. At the top, you'll see Course Home, Content, Assessments, Communications, Resources, and Help. Course Home will return you to your course's home page. The Content tab will probably be your most used tab, and it will take you to the content your instructors are providing you with, as well as assignments. Often syllabi will be posted here or on the course home page. Next, you'll see the Assessments tab. You will also use this tab frequently as most instructors will request that you submit papers via the Dropbox. Here you will find the Dropbox as well as your grades, any quizzes that the instructor may open, and surveys. Then, under Communications, you will find Collaborate, which is for online learning where you can view a PowerPoint of a webcam or an instructor and participate in the class via chat. Under Communications, you will also see Discuss. In Discuss, your instructor may open a topic and request you to expand upon, create your own, or re reply to other students' topics. Finally, you'll see Class List, which offers you a way to connect to your instructor or other students in the class. This is a valuable tool in case you miss a class and need notes or an assignment. This allows you to contact other students in the class via their D2L email. Now if you click on class list and then click on the arrow next to someone's name, you can see that it gives you a couple of options. The important options here are send email and share locker file. Sending an email is pretty straightforward, but what if you need to exchange notes? If you go back to your D2L homepage, you'll see under your profile picture a locker icon. Here you can upload a document, click on make it public to others, give it a quick description, and upload the file. And now anyone that clicks on View Locker next to your name can open that file. That's pretty much it for D2L. Hopefully I made it in five minutes. Till next time, go Yotes!